My name's Steve Myberg. I'm here today to attract a £70,000 investment for a 20% equity share in my company. Myberg Designs is essentially a design and manufacture company and we specialise in a range of swinging chairs. Um, I'm just going to take you back for a second to South Africa, apartheid South Africa, when I was much younger and um, the alarm in my father's factory goes off. And as we enter the building, the scene that I witness is an SAP dog attacking a young boy that they found in a, in a cardboard box, okay? And the boy splayed out on the floor, and the product inside that box as well was sprayed out on the floor in front of me as well. And the thing that really struck me was the lack of value between all the, all the participating ingredients to that scene. There was no real value in the product. There was no real value in the relationships between the people because the boy didn't value the cop and the cop definitely didn't value the boy. And so that day a, a seed was planted in me and that seed has grown into a passion and that passion is about finding a sweet place between people, environment and product. What we do is we invent beauty and we, but the gift that we give to our clients is this creative living. So today I am here to find that money, to get that, that cash that is going to drive my business forward into the next few years. But really, I'm also here to find a dragon heart, a dragon heart to stand next to me and cover my world, my world, with this kind of treasure that I make. So if you'd like to try them out, you can. Um, and uh, I'll answer all your questions afterwards. I'll try. <laughs> A creative approach to pitching from Hampshire-based artist Steve Myberg. Oh, it's quite nice. Look, very regal. Yeah, it's very good. Like it. Can I get into that one? Yeah. He may have taken the dragons on a journey back to his childhood, but will that be enough to receive a £70,000 investment in return for 20% of his bespoke garden furniture design business? Mm. Hilary DeVay needs to go back to basics. Where are these manufactured? In my factory. Where? In Hampshire. Hampshire. Yeah. So you actually make these here? Yeah, we've just actually reached a production capability of 150 units a year. So what's your route to market? This year I've put all of my efforts into forging relationships and forging joint ventures and I've started to create some really interesting ones. At the moment I've got five hotels that are on my books, okay? I give the hotel the installation and I get to feed them off the marketing from that. So I've had them in the hotels for a month and I've sold two pieces. And how much do they sell for? £5,000, £3,200, £18,000 and £5,000. To be honest with you, I'm only now interested in becoming a business person. You know, it, it's actually coming to me now. I, I, I can feel it. And, um, and so... <laughs> Tell me how. How can I feel it? How do you feel that? I'm interested in it. You know, I'm really interested in... Well, how in do you feel? Epitomise your vision of where you want to go. I want my book to touch everybody in the UK. My vision of my book designs is to really push it across the world, to really sell this, to make this the next iconic piece of furniture. Steve's story may have charmed Hilary DeVay, but in this den, it's all about business. Theo Pafitis wants more clarity on the numbers. Steve, just, you sell that for 5,000 quid. Yeah. Give me the cost in producing that. 853 pounds. 853 quid. So you're making 150 now, or your capacity is 100? My capacity is 150. How many are you my, making? At the moment, I'm only selling 30 a year. At an year. average price of? Of about five grand. I've sold swings to Singapore, uh, the Princess of von Liechtenstein, um, the Mercedes-Benz family bought one from me. You know, I've, I've got a bit of a career here. I just haven't figured out how to sell 150 units a year. That's all. I've got a little bit of magic. Can I just show you another Yeah, show magic? some magic. Isn't that lovely? And so I try to do this. I try to create magic for people, you know. Give me a chance and I'll make magic products that the world will buy, I promise you. You say it's a piece of magic, but you know, I had one of those in my ice cream van. <laughs> <laughs> Duncan, Duncan, <laughs> was it, wasn't that the magic in your ice cream van? Steve, yeah. Steve, 
If I say you just concentrate on the business going forward and tell me how you're going to make money out of this, what's your answer? I'm going to sell a lot of swings. It's a good answer. It's not a great answer. But my problem is that, as yet, I don't believe you. So you need to convince me you're going to sell a lot of Can swings. Can I ask you a question? Yep. Would you like to buy one of my swings? Not at those prices. Are you sure? And, and I have hotels where they would sit very nice. So convince me how we're going to make any money as a business. I'm looking for some business advice, OK? I don't know. My prices were, are created out of my experience, not out of my astute business knowledge. So what you're saying is you have no idea how it's going to make any money. You want me to invest £70,000 and then show you how to make money? Yeah. I mean, I'm here knocking on your door because you guys know how to make money. A frank admission, perhaps, but such business naivety rarely ends up with a dragon investment. Will Deborah Meaden find a reason to part with £70,000? When you talk, you talk as an artisan, this is not a criticism. You talk about the imagery, you spent most of your pitch telling us a, a historic story about where all of this came from. You spent no time at all, no time at all, telling us where the business was. It's a brand. It's a global brand that will supply no, not... but you see, it isn't, is it? Because what you've got in front of us is something that's going to cost £18,000. Trust me, that is not going to have a huge market. Something that's £5,000, that's not going to have a huge market. And you say you now have product. Well, I don't see product. I see lovely pieces, Steve. Thank you. But these are bespoke pieces, and you're making a mistake if you think that what we've got in front of us is a product that you're going to be able to roll out, because it's not. The thing is that I'm ready to grow into, into the business and to, to take it on, not as an artisan, not as an artist, but to take it on as a business. Let's spread, let me spread my wings a little bit and then you'll see the Steve, growth. Steve, you're not... I'm not what? ...ready to take this as a business. Oh. Whilst you in your head think you might be ready to turn this into a business, you've taken no step at all. In this here, we're investors. Yeah, yeah, I we see that. We are looking for business propositions. I see that. I'm out. Thanks. Steve's lack of business now finally results in him losing a dragon. And Peter Jones looks ready to show his hand too. Steve, a lot of artists with your talent, they do it because they have that passion and that strength and depth. Actually, they see things that people like me don't. I'm happy looking at a piece of paper with numbers on it. I'm boring. So I haven't got the talent that you've got and I kind of think that actually that talent should stay within you. I congratulate you on producing what you've produced, but it's not something I can invest in, so I'm out. Thank you, Pete. Look, they are great pieces. They're really interesting. Thank you. But let me just tell you that you will drive people to despair who go in business with you. <laughs> you will drive them mad. For all your talents and your strengths, if you're really thinking about going to business, they are also your Achilles heel. I'm out. Thank you very much. Yeah, Steve, like everyone else, I think it's a fantastic product. Thank you. But I don't think, yeah, it's a business investment. So giving you advice and giving you money and for 20% doesn't stack up. I'm out. Thank you very much, Duncan. Three dragons walk away in quick succession. And now Steve's hopes of investment rest solely with Hilary DeVay. Hilary, would you like one of my flowers? OK. I, I oh, thank you. Thank you. That's, that's very kind of me. There you go. Thank you. She can't be bought for a copper flower. No, I can't. Indeed, I can't. I think they're fabulous. Thank you very much. But I can go to parts of the world and buy that for two, three hundred euros. Uh, Almost no, every garden in Morocco will have a chair of some distinction like this in it. To make you know, if you're to... saying eight hundred pound, it's costing you to make them here. You know, you, you wouldn't be paying a tenth of that in Morocco. But it's about making things in the UK. We don't just outsource everything. You know, it's about having some. Yeah, but it's also but business about is also up. about making money and about profitability. You're, right. you're absolutely Steve. right. You're absolutely right. Bottom line. You're right. For me, 
it's not an investable product. And I wish you all the best of British. Thank you very much. But I'm sorry, I'm out. Pleasure. It was an unusual pitch, but as usual, the Dragons gave short shrift to a business without a clear path for making money. <laughs>